Good morning. Welcome to this morning's meditation. Today we'll be doing a four bows meditation, which is based off of uh, some, a hybrid form of meditation that I created in conversation with Jewish, Islamic, and Christian forms of meditation. It involves four bows internally, um, four increasingly surrendered states over 20 minutes. If you've never done this before, um, you don't need to know any more than that. I'll be walking you through as we, as we go. But now I simply invite you to kind of sit up straight, kind of as straight as possible, but comfortable. Take a deep breath in, let it out slowly, and let us begin. Picture yourself bowing, or even physically bowing, slightly at the head to acknowledge that you are in the presence of the Spirit. You're inviting and welcoming God's spiritual presence into yourself and that part of God's presence which is already in yourself you are becoming aware and intentionally welcoming God. I invite you to pay attention as you're with your eyes closed to your surroundings first. The sounds the temperature of the air, your feet planted on the floor, or crossed on the couch, where are your hands, is each part of your body reasonably comfortable? Just tune into this space a bit more, allowing the space itself to become part of our meditation. And now let us simply look over the last 24 hours of our lives, looking for those places uh, of blessing, starting from when you got up in the morning until the evening, or really until now. Think about where people have reached out in love to you, where you have reached out in love to others. Each one blesses us each with whichever direction it goes. Much of the world struggles to have the very blessings that you enjoy and take for granted, you and I. 
and we may question the justice in this, but it's also important that at least if we have such things to be grateful for what we have, we find that gratitude actually leads to higher senses of justice. So to give thanks for something that even others don't have and unjustly don't have, it's still important to give thanks, to be grateful. With increasing gratitude comes increasing compassion for others. And now let's let our day go to the background of our awareness. And focus now on someone who matters to you, who is struggling right now. It could be spiritually, physically, mentally, or all of these things. Someone you care about. I invite you now to locate their pain in your own body someplace. You may not have had their same experience, but where does empathy locate that pain in your own body, your own soul even? Find this place as you bow more deeply, as if bowing to the waist before a loving creator. And once you can find that place within yourself, I invite you to open yourself as fully as possible to allowing that vital, healthy, beautiful, life-bearing energy in, healing energy to yourself. And only when you start to sense that fullness, that abundance within you, that maybe even a a sense of joy, even, in a, even though you're praying for someone who's struggling and you struggle, or quiet peace, then call to mind that person of your focus. In so doing, we channel the energy of the consciousness uh, more accurately, and we help ensure that we're not channeling anxious energy energy that would work for the opposite purposes of what it's intended for.
Now we gradually let this person fade to the back of our awareness. And we bow a bit more deeply now, as if on hands and knees. Not groveling, but rather opening ourselves even more deeply in a surrendered and vulnerable state to one who we can trust in vulnerability. One who has our best interests in mind more than we have our best interests. One who believes in us more than we believe in us. One who loves us and others more than we love us or others. And consider yourself, your own need now. What do you need, especially in this coming day or week? That if a spirit who loves you, a God who loves you, could speak to you in ways without words, could indicate a direction, help give guidance through suggesting thoughts, images that come to mind or lifting out words in songs or words in other people when they speak to you. Just put a little highlight on those words to suggest a way forward. What do you need help with right now? What are you willing to look for today or this coming week? What matters to you enough to take this beyond this moment of meditation? The key is to make a request as precisely and specifically as possible. And to make it something you can actually, that God could respond to without breaking the natural order. Once you've found that thing, just keep turning your mind around that and just lightly think it through, and, but always aware of the presence of spirit. Always willing for the spirit to get a word in edgewise. Leave room in your thoughts simply let them flow through you. Don't hang on to anyone too tightly. Why do you need this thing enough to pray for it? What would having this guidance do for you? Why is that important? Now let your present need 
fade to the back of your awareness. As we begin to envision moving forward more deeply even than we have been into the spiritual awareness of God, letting go of our agendas and take a deep breath if you can, let it out slowly. And now envision just sinking all the way to the floor, lying prostrate within yourself. Letting it all go. Turning it all over. So let God be God and you be you. So let God take the lead in this final stage of our meditation. to take up whatever agenda that God may want, some agenda that wells up within you, or perhaps simply to just simply enjoy the presence silently, without thought. Or if the, the Spirit suggests it, to take up that, those awarenesses you've had the previous minutes to revisit those. Just let it all over. Let God take the lead and be God for you. Now we come to the end of our time. 
Where are your feet? Where are your hands? How does the air feel against your skin? We give you thanks, O God, for this time in communion with you and with those who are online, whose presence we have largely been unaware of and yet whose energies have connected with ours in ways we do not understand to amplify, to deepen our own prayers. We give you thanks for those folks, those people, the bonds that connect us all in love and grace. forward to seeing you next week.